Uh, now we will solve some of the uh, some of the examples of chi square. The question number one is: a one rupee coin is tossed in the air hundred times, and the recorded result indicate forty heads and sixty tails. Using chi square testing, find out whether this result is better than a mere chance. So we know the data is given that a coin and so it was us a coin is tossed hundred times hundred times in which the outcome was forty head and forty heads and sixty tails. So when we see this, we uh, we know that uh, that the forty heads and sixty tails are the observed frequency. These are the observed frequency, forty and sixty. So what will be the expected frequency here? Because we know the formula for chi square is chi square formula is equals to you have you have to remember the summation of summation of observed frequency minus expected frequency whole square divided by expected frequency under the bracket we know this is the formula for chi square and we have and we have the observed frequency f4 which is 44 heads and 64 tails now we have to find the expected frequency which is because since you see since uh, you have when you chose a coin there there are two the outcome the chances of um, outcome of head and tail are 50 50 percent because Fifty percent. So you divide it by two because two possible outcomes will come when you toss a coin. It's either head or it's either tail. So you divide have to divide it by two, which means fifty. So it's fifty for head and fifty for tail. This is the expected frequency. The fifty fifty percent fifty chances. Because when you toss a coin, the there's a 50% chance of coming head and 50% chance of coming tail. So we know the expected frequency for head is 50 and for tail is 50. So we have also, we found that um, observed frequency for the head, tail and expected frequency for the head and tail. But before formulating the formula, before uh, the first step which we have learned is, to establish a null hypothesis step one null hypothesis so when we say null hypothesis it means that it means that null hypothesis is that there is no significant difference between the observed frequency and expected frequency so we'll assume that the occurrence that happened that when you dose a coin in the air and the result was 40 hertz and 60 tail it the occurrence it was merely by chance so now we will the hypothesis null hypothesis is that have happened merely by chance so when now we will see test by using the chi square formula where whether it was uh, merely by chance or whether something else was it was not merely by chance so the now the second step is computing the formula and we know the formula of chi square which i've already written above so you have instead of uh, you have to now calculate the chi square formula so because now uh, we have to now make a table and then calculate the formula so for for head and tail the observed frequency was which means f o was for head it was 40 
and for t it was 60 and we have also already calculated the expected frequency which is fe so expected frequency for, for both the num both the head and tail is 50 now we have to calculate uh, the square of uh, sorry the subtraction of fo and fe observed frequency and expected frequency which is minus 10 and this is 10 so now square of this is fe the square of f4 minus f is square is 10 into 10 is 100 and this is also 100 so we know the we know the uh, the value of this uh, now we will compute the formula just this so okay equals to summation of summation of because uh, f o minus f is hundred hundred by fifty for head because we know that hundred was the f o minus f o minus f e whole square okay f e whole square for the head plus for the tail it was hundred by fifty now which equals to 200 by 50 equals to 4 so we have calculated the chi square and we have opt found the opt value is 4 so we will compare it with the uh, table value so how to find out the table value is to calculate the degree of freedom the degree of freedom for the chi square the value of the formula for degree of freedom is r minus 1 and c minus 1 degree of freedom so here the r is the row and c is the column of which row and column am i talking about that it means that here in the in the question it was said there were head and tail the two outcome was there and its observed value were 40 and 60 so we have we have two row two column two row and two column so if okay so yeah we have two row and two column so we will write that, write it down as because this this part is important this part is important because when we know the row and column of the um, given question that way we can calculate the degree of freedom very much easily so now the degree of freedom is we have row is 2 minus 1 column is 2 minus 1 now computing the formula we have cal after calculation we find the answer as 1 and from table how you find or how you can calculate how, how you can find the degree of freedom from the table because degree of freedom is one so from the table of chi square from the garrett book from the garrett book here the degree of freedom is one so you see it's zero point zero five level and point zero one level so when we see from both the value of 0 0.01 and 0 0.05 we see that the value of 0 0.01 is 3.841 and value of 0 0.01 is 6.635 so the table for chi square degree of freedom 1 given lower value at 0 0.05 level and 0 0.01 level level is 384 and 6.63
for 0.0, it's 384 and 0.01. Oh, sorry, 0 0.05, it's 3.84, 0 0.01, 6.63. So, and we have found the value is 4. So, 4 is, of course, 4 is greater than this value, but it's smaller than this value. This value. So, we can see that the significant, because it's smaller than 6.63 at 0 0.01 level, so it's not significant at 0 0.01 level, but because it's the value of 4 is greater than this 0 0.05 level, so we, we will say that even though it's not significant at 0 0.01 level, it is significant at 0 0.05 level. So, the result is we, we will, uh, the outcome of the result is that, is that we will reject the null hypothesis and state that there is a significant experimental result a dif significant difference between experimental result is not by chance because it is significant at 0 0.05 level so even if it is not significant at 0 0.01 level it's significant at 0 0.05 so we will reject the null hypothesis but if the value of value obtained value this obtained value was smaller in both the level then we have to accept the null hypothesis and say that the result uh, there, there in the experimental result it happened by chance so and uh, so that's how uh, chi square is calculated so another example i would like to show you in different video thank you